All right, it is L.A. followed by London. In the team standings, 200 IM onto the pool deck in a late change, Roddy. Again, the coaches can make changes after the uh, relay lengths, and we see Andrew Seliskar, who's won this event three times, get replaced by Josh Preneau. One of the changes, and that could be big. I, 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 I'm in a bit of state of shock right now of taking Seliskar out. There's got to be a logical reason. It can't be for saving him on a relay because he won't swim the medley or free relay. Uh, I, I just don't know. We don't know at this point, trying to find out, but he has the second fastest time this season in the 200 IM, even faster than Hagino. We thought this was going to be a huge matchup, and now it's left up to Voss, who was second to Seliskar in week one, match one, to be able to take down the Olympic champion, Hagino, in lane number seven. Yeah, Hagino. Watch Duncan Scott. Yeah, and you talk about Duncan Scott. He talked about how much he was looking forward to getting in this race with Hagino. We saw Duncan Scott win the 200 freestyle, but again, Hagino, one of those great stories. You think that he's riding high, winning that uh, Olympic championship, uh, winning the gold medal in 2016, but four or five years uh, as it is, it's a long way yeah. for these swimmers to remain on that high. Well, he certainly went into a huge funk after the Olympics. In fact, we talked about it last week and the fact that he decided not to go to the World Championships in 2019 and almost thought of retiring, but has really come back. I think he was just mentally and physically exhausted. And as heck, just a couple of weeks ago at the Japanese Short Course Championship, he went his fastest time in the 400 IM in the last two years. So he's just getting better and better. And he'll be there at the end, and he's there right now, that's for sure. Aguino, Devine. Viseos for London, London War. They would love to get a win as they find themselves trailing by the biggest margin of the match. This one was separated tight early, but LA, they just keep winning races. But London certainly has that type of power to answer back. Tokyo, you expect them to win a race like this, and here comes Hagino. He is going to be right there in the mix, only a tenth of a second behind with 53 to go. Vazios was 32 flat on that split right there. That was just fantastic. Fastest split of anybody. Hagino, 32-7. Right, Vazios into the lead. Hagino trying to grab him. Can London get the win? Can Vazios hold him off? London roaring again. They get on top. That should put a smile on Mel Marshall's face. Yeah, no question about it. 27-9 for Vazios. He actually tied Hagino on the last 50. So you would think Hagino would chase him down. He's the best freestyler, except maybe outside of Scott. And then all of a sudden, no way. I'm not letting you catch me. Vazios right there. You see him from underneath. 27-9 at the end. Scott had the fastest last 50, 27-7. Actually, Josh Bruneau had the fastest, but he was 27-6, but he ended up trailing badly, and the current lost a lot of points to the world right there. London get a relay win, and now they have their first individual win.